Hello again, everybody. Well, we're downtown at uh, downtown Knoxville, and I believe this is the original old courthouse. Pretty impressive. It's got some huge cannon, which we'll check out in a second, some signs, and some information about the Union and the Confederates. I will let you guys pause and read at your leisure. I can only imagine what Knoxville looked like back in the day, but let's go up here and take a look. Gotta love humor sometimes, so this is basement rooms or close to basement rooms. Somebody's reaching up to try to get out. Let me out, let me out. Got the Treaty of, of the Holston. It's 250 yards east near the mouth of First Creek. William Blunt, governor of the territory south of the River Ohio, signed a treaty. Hmm. So it is starting to... Oh, this was... Oh, well, wait a minute. That is pretty cool. And check these bad boys out. These are some truly massive cannon. Hello there. This is quite an impressive set of cannons. And uh, as it says on the sign, this is the old courthouse. You now they just don't do architecture like this anymore. few more things to check out over here what's interesting to see is all of these historical buildings but then you've got a lot more of these more modern buildings like the truest building Catherine Cheryl Severe Bonnie Kate died in Russell Alabama John Severe the first governor of Tennessee John Severe Nola Chucky Jack, just look at that. Tennessee's first five star mother. Now let's see, I'm going to take a look over here and see what this is. Beautiful bronze statue and interesting little gate. This monument erected by veterans of the war with Spain and members of their auxiliary as a memorial to their departed comrades of the Army Navy Marine Corps. 1898 to 19, 1902. Huh. That is most impressive. Well, it appears to have some more stuff over here, so let's go take a look over that way. It's very interesting. These are the original tombstones of Governor John Severe and Bonnie Kate, brought from Alabama and presented to Knox County by Chaz H. Dobson in 1922. That is very interesting. Looks like there's one more thing, and there may be some more things around the back of the building. We'll just have to wander around and take a look. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to read this one. Knoxville, previously the capital of the Southwest Territory, was designated 
as the first capital of the state of Tennessee by the Constitutional Convention of 1796. So it happened near here. Man, this building is huge. Huh. Man, just look. I mean, this building just keeps going and going. I guess they just kept adding to it when uh, when they needed to do more. This is a gorgeous building, and they have kept it up quite nicely. And even have some older trees in the different zone and. You can bet, because all these signs, everything is secured except for a specific entrance. Cool. Oh, Governor of the State of Franklin. Ah, the state of Franklin. And then I don't know if you'll be able to see this one. I'll still pan across it. If you want to try to read this better, you can, but... All right, well... I have shown you the old courthouse in Knoxville, Tennessee. As always, I'm off to go on some more journeys. So until then, why don't y'all go on a journey of your own? We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.